Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about how I was able to lose weight using the law of attraction. Back when I was pregnant with my daughter, I gained 60 pounds and I had never ever been that heavy in my life. I actually think that I hit, I think I almost hit 200 pounds and normally my normal weight is around 130-ish, okay, 130 pounds. So I had never in my life been that heavy and I just wasn't sure if I was going to be able to lose that weight after I gave birth to my daughter. Fortunately, I did and I used a lot of principles from the law of attraction to help me manifest my weight loss. So I'm going to share with you guys some really key points that allowed me to be successful to lose the weight. So the first point is I never saw myself as a fat person. Your identity and the way you see yourself is what is going to manifest in your life. It's just law. It is law. Your beliefs about yourself, what you're capable of, who you are, everything. If you believe it, that is what you are going to see in your life. It is going to reflect out, good or bad. The universe does not see the difference. <laughs> when I was overweight, I never completely lost that identity of being my normal weight, of being 130 pounds. In my mind, I just saw it as that 130 pound person is still there. So I never lost faith in that. And my identity of myself never actually changed. And I think that's why I was able to lose the weight so quickly. I think within three months, I was back to my normal weight of 130 pounds. So I did lose 60 pounds, which I'm not necessarily recommending, but honestly, it just happen like the weight literally just fell off and within three months i was back to my normal weight and i never ever allowed myself to change my identity of who i was which is a woman of 130 pounds so i really want to stress to you guys that if you see yourself as overweight and as fat and as a more heavy set person you need to actually work on changing that things in the physical world are always created twice first in your mind then in reality on the outside in the physical so you have to see yourself as skinny as fit as healthy first you have to see that vision of yourself first in your mind very very clearly okay visualization is so important when it comes to the law of attraction i cannot stress it enough visualize your most fit healthy vivacious beautiful self, your ideal body, you being healthy, you feeling so confident, really embrace that feeling and become emotionally involved in it. Another rule, I guess, of a law of attraction is that you have to get emotionally involved with whatever you are trying to manifest. So in this case, you're trying to manifest your ideal body. You have to feel what it's going to feel like to be your dream weight. Wear whatever clothes you want and look amazing go anywhere in a bikini and feel just gorgeous. Feel that, feel what it's gonna feel like, invest in that. The next thing is clarity. Clarity is so important when you're trying to manifest anything. I actually was listening to a talk by a weight loss coach. So this lady is an expert at the psychology of people trying to lose weight. She knows a lot about it. And she actually noticed that people would say they wanted to lose weight but when she asked them specifically how much weight, they didn't have an answer. And if you don't have a clear answer, you are not gonna necessarily manifest what you are actually wanting because you could say, I wanna lose weight. Well, tomorrow you could be one pound lighter. There you go, you lost weight. And the universe and your subconscious mind really technically did its job because you did technically lose weight even though it was just one pound. So you need to be really clear on exactly how much weight you want to lose. And I cannot stress this enough. So important and so key and so vital. Have a number in your head, a clear number. Next, once you have that clarity and you know the exact amount of weight that you want to lose, you need to start to use repetition. Repetition is so important. That is actually how you're going to change your subconscious mind and basically brainwash yourself into acting in ways that are going to help you lose 
wait, your subconscious mind governs like 90, I think it's 95 or 96% of your behaviors. And you can't argue with the fact that your behaviors and your habits are what create your reality and what your life is. The actions, the small actions and the large actions and the choices that you make on a daily basis are what form your life, what form how your body looks, what form everything. Okay, so you gotta tap into that part of your brain that is controlling your daily habits. And in order to do this, repetition is key. It is absolutely key. You have to tap into the power of your subconscious mind. It is very powerful, but you have to know how to work with it. One of the best ways actually to change it is through repetition. What you need to do is you need to have a mission statement of your ideal weight that you want to be. I am 120 pounds. I have the body of my dreams. Make sure when you say it, it feels good. It feels right for you. Experiment. Then write that statement down twice a day, every day. Once when you get up and then once again when you go to bed. Trust me, trust me, you need to do this in order to start to change your behavior. Do not underestimate the power of your subconscious mind and the fact that it is actually controlling your entire life. Once you understand how to tap into it, which is through repetition, yes, it's gonna be boring on a conscious level, but realize on a subconscious level, that is where the changes are being made. Every day, twice a day, write down the weight that you would like to be and write it as if it's already done. I am 120 pounds. I am so happy and grateful that I am fit and healthy and beautiful. Whatever your statement is, just trust me, this works. This works, I am telling you. Do not miss a day, do your very best. If you go traveling, if for some reason you're away from your home, take that book with you. It is so important, not only for manifesting weight loss goals, it's important for manifesting any goals, any goals, wealth goals, relationship goals. You need to work with your subconscious mind and repetition is so important. I cannot stress this enough. It's probably the most important thing. If you could take away anything from this video, take away this point. Okay, do that every day, twice a day for as long as necessary until your goal is manifested. Next is get rid of your limiting beliefs. If you are holding limiting beliefs in your subconscious mind, that is gonna block you from manifesting your weight loss. And you might not think that you have limiting beliefs, but you might question yourself. It's really important to question what is really going on beneath the surface because that is what creates your life. So for instance, this weight loss coach that I was talking about, she would often talk to women that had children and she actually discovered that women that had kids had a limiting belief in their mind that they could not reach their pre-pregnancy weight because they were now mothers and they had children. And that was a belief that they held. And because you hold that belief and you believe it to be true, you will never ever reach your pre-pregnancy weight. As within, so without, that is a law. Ask yourself, if you were a mother who had children, do you hold this belief or any other limiting beliefs that are gonna be blocking you from manifesting your weight loss? It might take you a few days to actually draw these beliefs out, but I would definitely say observe your thoughts because these beliefs will come up out of the woodwork into your conscious mind and you'll find yourself thinking these thoughts. So for instance, you could be thinking something like, my body changed after I had kids. If I get that small, it's not gonna look the same. That is a limiting belief. That thought is gonna prevent you from manifesting your weight loss. Or I come from a family of overweight people. I am just meant to be overweight because it's in my genetics. If you have any of those thoughts or beliefs, you're not going to manifest what you want. So you got to really root them out and nip them in the bud, just completely uproot them. And once you, you realize what beliefs you have, you have to actually look at them. And the first step is actually being aware of them. Once you're aware of them, then you hold the power again. You have the power because you can get rid of these beliefs. And once you have an awareness of what they are, you have to question them. Say, is that really true? Because realize that your thoughts are not necessarily true. They're just thoughts. That's all they are, okay? They're not necessarily true or false. It's just what's running through your mind in that moment. And it's up to you whether or not you wanna nurture these thoughts or not. 
so for instance, if you have the belief that because you're a mom, you can't have a fit body or you can't return back to your high school weight, look at people who have. So let's look at Jennifer Lopez, for instance. I'm a huge fan of her. She had twins. She was overweight. She has her high school body again. She's 50 years old. Why can't you? Why are you any different? You're not. Look at all the other women that have had children that are back to their high school weight that have basically the same body that they had before they had kids. That's how you go about disintegrating all of your limiting beliefs and then you, you won't have anything the path will be clear for you to manifest your weight loss and the last thing I want to leave you guys with is visualization as I touched on in the beginning but video visualization is so incredibly powerful it is so powerful I don't think you guys realize how powerful you are how powerful your imagination is and that if you keep tapping into it you will have no choice but to manifest what you are visualizing. What you are imagining is already done. It is law that whatever you see in your mind first must become reality. The more and more energy and emotion and time and investment that you make into this ideal version of yourself, into the visualization of your dream body, the more and more it's gonna gain momentum, and then you're gonna start to do things to make this a reality. It's just law. Visualize and imagine this ideal, beautiful version of yourself so much that you literally become obsessed with it. Have that much mental power to that visualization that you are that, like literally obsessed. And once you get to that point, there is nothing stopping you you will be literally unstoppable and you will manifest your weight loss. Remember, visualize, repetition, write down what you want, your clarity. Do all these things, just do them. Have all the odds in your favor. Do everything you possibly can to utilize the law of attraction to manifest your weight loss because if it's what you really, really want, you will do all of these things. Absolutely. You will do all these things faithfully every day because it's what you really, really want and you will achieve the body of your dreams. If you guys have any questions or video requests, DM me at my Instagram at Lyra Scotch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.